Your step shall be ordered by the Lord. Bible references. Psalmist, chapter 37, verse 23 to 24. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 9. A man's head divided his way. But the Lord directed his steps. Child of God, 
Blessed are those whose steps are ordered by the Lord. This will happen if you are docile to the teachings and the instructions of the Holy Spirit. The scripture says in Psalm 37 verse 23 that the step of the righteous is ordered by the Lord. Obviously, the life of holiness and the righteousness is indispensable in the life of a true child of God. This assertion or declaration has a condition attached. Simply put, that to be eligible for the Lord to absolutely and completely take over and be fully in charge of everything that concerns you in your marriage, business, profession, connections, and aspiration that you are to maintain a good and a steady relationship with Him by living a holy life. This way inevitably make the Lord to take over all your decisions and simultaneously direct all your steps in life. The decision that will enable you to be where and what He wants you to be both in marriage, by marrying the right marriage partner, business, by leading you to right investment, even in profession, by making you to choose the right profession in life. He will select good friends that will enable you to live a fulfilled life. Also, He will connect you to profitable connections that will transform your life and they rearrange your destiny positively. The scripture says in Psalm 34 verse 8, Test and see that the Lord is good. Beloved, I urge you to take a decision to dedicate your life to God by serving Him in truth and the Spirit according to the Word of God in John chapter 4 verse 23 to 24. Hear me, before the end of this program, you shall experience divine intervention, visitation, and transformation. This year, God will see a reason to bless you and lift you beyond all human comprehension in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every step you throw in life shall be directed by the Most High. You shall sing the song of victory over your enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Follow me to this prayer point and leave Amen. Prayer point one. O oh Lord, by your mercy, partner with me in all my undertakings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Two, Lord, by your mercy and the power, appoint and commission your angel to lead and guide me to enable me achieve your purposes in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 3. Lord, every human or spiritual personality working against my success maliciously be thrown and destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer point 4. Let us pray for our spiritual director Evangelist Chukwe Buka Anozie Obi and the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Father, direct our spiritual director, Evangelist Chukwe Buka Anozie Obi, in all his decisions. Lead him and guard him, protect him and his family, and protect your ministry, Zion Prayer Movement Outreach, where everybody around the world assemble to seek your face. Lord God in heaven, May Evangelist Chukwebuka Anozie Obi live. May the ministry live. And may his family members live. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Join me now to effective prayers for uncommon miracles. Child of God, the time is now for you to take over. The time is now for you to seek God in the secret place where he dwells, where he is waiting for you, where he is going to pay attention listen to you and they take over your situation and they scatter every bondage remove barriers and they bring down the walls of jericho which hasn't allowed you to cross over 
to meet with your destiny helpers, to cross over, to get the breakthrough which has been designed for your sake from the beginning of creation. The reason why you were born is that you will live the life God destined for you, is that you will enjoy this life that God planned for you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be among the living in today. Now you must take over. You must live. You must allow God to walk by your side. You must allow God to order your footsteps. This is the reason of today's day 10. Wednesday 31st of January 2024. Allowing God to order your steps will help you a long way. And this is how you are going to invoke this to manifestation through effective prayer. Now join me and the amen to it in the end of every verse finished. And the good Lord in heaven will see you through. Child of God, it is not over. Do not relax. Do not say it is over. Do not give up because the enemies who are fighting you in the spiritual realm, in the darkness, in the dark hour when you are sleeping, they never relent. They never stay back. They never say it is okay. Therefore, you cannot say it is over. You do not have to agree, disagree with their concussion, with their incantation, disagree with everything they have invoked into you. Child of God, the time is now to speak the word, to believe in the prayers of the faithful and the whatever projection by the evil ones into your life, God will remove it out of your body because the word of God says that they may come in one direction to you, but the good Lord is going to send them away in seven directions. Amen and the Amen. Prayer for God's direction and the will. Perfect Master King, you are the only God who sees from the beginning to the end of man. Every step or move of man is known to you. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, you said, I alone know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. On this day, Lord of hosts, I call on you to come and to take your place in my life and destiny. In Jesus' name, Amen. I call on you for divine direction. You said that the steps of the righteous are ordered by you, according to the book of Psalm 37 verse 23. Come, Lord Jesus, and they order my steps. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, and they direct me on the right path of life. Amen. Do not allow me, Lord, to go the wrong direction that will lead me to sorrow and the death. Amen. Do not allow me to move in the direction you have not planned for my destiny. Your will for me in 3 John verse 1 and 2 is to prosper and be in good health even as my soul prospers. Amen. Every evil direction and the will the devil wants me to follow, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. In Jesus' name, Amen. May all my enemies' plans be disappointed and frustrated. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, may every step and the direction I go from today connect me to my favor. Amen. May I also meet my divine helpers as I rise daily for my activities. Amen. May your power direct me to walk in the direction of my abundance. Amen. May your power direct me to the top. Prosper me and give me joy everlasting. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Share this post. Do not be selfish and keep it with you alone. The more you share it, the more blessings come your way. Remember that there is joy 
in the presence of Almighty God. Many people haven't had this opportunity that you listening to this prayer video have now. So share with them on all your social media handle, on all your social media contact. Share this so that your friends, relatives, and the family will come across it and they subscribe under this video if you have not subscribed to Kibri's Got Talent channel and you will remain blessed from time through time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,